Sadie, I know you're trying to see confetti again too, huh? And tears. <laughs> <laughs> um, is it Super Bowl or bust for the Eagles? Yes, it is. Super Bowl. That's it. That's all we want. We're going straight for the championship. And you can tell about it how the GM. Look, look at the, the, the cards he's playing. We need, we need secondary. Goes out against Bradbury, right? We need guys, uh, interior linemen, to stop the run. Jordan Davis, he wasn't hurt. What did they do? They ran the ball well against us. When he was in there, they were shutting the run down. So what do we do? We bring in Dominic Sue in there. Yep. I played with Sue. Boy, I'm so happy he's there. I said, Sue, I'm sending you... Uh, um, like a welcome package from Shady McCoy of Philadelphia Eagles. So I'm happy he's there. But um, you look at even the quarterback. Can Jalen Hurts, can he be the, the starting quarterback? Can he be this guy that Philadelphia needs? Yes. Can he? Well, let's go all the way in there for him. Let's put all our chips on the table for Jalen Hurts. We get A.J. Brown. We go out there and get a, a, a Heisman uh, Trophy winner and uh, Devontae Smith. Yep. So if you ask me, is the Super Bowl bust? Yes, because... Howie is doing everything possible to get this team where they need to be. So there's no excuses. I agree with you. I agree with you on every level. It, it, to me, it's Super Bowl or bust for Ring several Ringing things. Reasons. We want them rings and things. Sorry about that. I just is feeling it. Ooh, <laughs> Super Bowl, Eagles, confetti, crying, Broad Street. Would you cry? Oh, my God. Yeah, you cry? Can I be honest? Be honest. When they won a the championship and I wasn't there, I shed a tear. <laughs> Was it tears of joy or I, tears of, of, like, frustration? Oh, no, 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 joy. I text all my boys in a group long text. Cox, Nick Foles, uh, Darian Sproles, yep. all my boys. Why don't you go to the game? Because I was there. And I well, you know it. what? I, I went to the uh, the Vikings game. Playoff game went there. Yep. I came through all. But why didn't you go to all the, why did you, go to the you Super know what I mean? <laughs> um, I, I had the parents. I had to get my own money. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, come on now, <laughs> my dog. Um, I think a Super Bowl or bust for several reasons. The first is this: Howie Roseman has made in-season acquisitions to go mm -hmm. all in. And Dominican Sue. Five Pro Bowls, 191 starts. Linville Joseph, two Pro Bowls, 162 starts. Robert Quinn, three Pro Bowls, 142 Quinn, starts, yeah. including 18 and a half sacks a year last year. That's just in season. Off season, Bradbury, a Pro Bowl, 91 starts. A.J. Brown, he gave him $100-plus million and traded a first-round pick. Hassan Reddick, 47 starts. Howie Roseman's made off-season acquisitions and in-season acquisitions to say, I got to get the Super Bowl. That's but right. here's what's even more important. Assuming the Eagles are going to get the first round by, which they should, <laughs> If they don't go to the Super Bowl, that means they won one playoff game and they lost one playoff game, which means Howie Roseman will look up after three years and Jalen Hurts' playoff record will be one and two. Y'all do the math. Quarterbacks that have losing records, you got to ask a little bit longer to get your money, Kirk Cousins. You got to ask a little bit longer to get your money, Dak Prescott. You got to ask Dak a little Prescott. bit longer or remove names from social media to get your money, Kyler Murray. And even Ooh. then, your money might come with regrets. So it's Super Bowl or bust, not just for Howie Roseman. To me, it's Super Bowl or bust for Jalen Hurts and the rest of those Eagles players. Joy, where do you stand? Super Bowl, bust for the Eagles. I, mean, I don't think Kyler cares if they regret giving him that money. <laughs> I would not. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the ink is dry. I think it is Super Bowl or bust for the Eagles, but I'm sort of changing the question, which we're not supposed to do. It should be Super Bowl or bust. It's obvious they feel that way. It's obviously Howie feels that way. The team is playing that way. They're talking that way. They are, they've come together in that way. It feels like this is a very serious team. Yeah. I know people have some doubts about them, but to me, they have <clears throat> championship makeup. They have leadership. They persevere through things. They're, they're not panicky. They're not loud. There's no drama. It's just football. And it doesn't have to be pretty. It doesn't have to be a lot. And they can make it pretty if they want to. They win in different ways. So to me, they have everything that a championship team should have. But personally, if they don't win a championship, I'm not really going to crush them. Like, if they make it to the NFC Championship game with Jalen Hurts, I'm going to be mad about how the season went for them. I think it'll depend on who beats them. But say the Niners get on a roll. The great, the super talented Niners have been there a bunch of times. What if the Bucks pull it together? He loses to Tom Brady in the NFC Championship game. That's how you're going to feel? How does he look doing it? That's my question. I don't I'm know. So I, I just, I, so, such a good question. I, it's it's, question. it's, right, it's right. fair. It's fair. But if you make it to the NFC Championship game, to me, I'm balancing my expectations for the Eagles and what I think they're capable of. I think they're capable of winning a Super Bowl. It looks like they're going to get to the Super Bowl. It should be their expectations to get to the Super Bowl. But he is also still a third-year quarterback. I'm so interested, Dave, in what you have to say. I'm going to set you up, though. Okay. I'm going to set you up. Don't okay. go just yet. Don't go. I got to tease the viewers. Um, if Jalen Hurts doesn't make it to the Super Bowl, that is to imply Kirk Cousins beat him, Jimmy Garoppolo beat him, Geno Smith beat him, Dak Prescott beat him. Like, that's to imply... Now, that would be a story. That's to imply Taylor <laughs> Heineke beat him. 
or Carson Wentz came back and Carson Wentz beat him? Well, like, if Jesus... Like let's not get crazy. But Daniel if Jones. Daniel Jones beat him? Like, if yeah. Jalen doesn't get to You're a Super Bowl... You're setting up pretty well, Acho. There's nobody great outside of Tom it's Brady... Here. Outside of Tom Brady that Eagles fans can be like, ah, well, we lost <laughs> to him, it's okay. Dave Hellman, just speak. Well, it's, uh, l- let's, let's give the Eagles... A little bit of grace and just put like they they have they've set this up really beautifully. Like even like think beyond this year's team. They're in place to have a top ten draft pick because mm. of fleecing the Saints top last offseason. Top potentially top, top five. five. Maybe. Let's get it. So if they don't get to the Super Bowl, is it the end of the world? Maybe not. But it's gonna be a really interesting conversation if they don't, especially if Jalen Hurts doesn't look like the guy we've seen during that playoff trip. I'm glad you said all of that, Acho, because th- think about it. What is what has the conversation been for most of this season? The Eagles and who? That in the NFC, it's the Eagles and who? We know the Eagles are going to be there. So who are they losing this playoff game to? <laughs> I mean, maybe, well, I mean, maybe yeah, like, it could be Tom Brady. I'm just proposing it. And sure. that, that is really a, an interesting way of looking at it because the, the quarterbacks Ooh. are – it's not a – Not good. I've done this. Not, not a not killer's great. row. <laughs> yes. But if, if he – take everybody else out because I agree with you. If he lost to Brady, Fair. is that, is that, is that acceptable? Form, hey, would you be mad? Like, if, if he lost to Brady, we let lose anybody I'm mad, but I, I would understand. Yeah. But wait, if he lose to the Niners, I understand that, too. I they, would. Because they, they did the same thing. What if they the lose, did. What if they lose the way they lost last year, where they got a donut on the scoreboard at the start well, that, of the That won't quarter. happen. No. Why okay. would you even say that? I mean, why would you even <laughs> say that? It's the NFL, man. It's Stop. the NFL. I'm just saying. Look, it's all I'm saying, me, I've seen that. Okay, now, now think about it the big picture as well. Jalen Hurts is in year three. Today, we're sitting here saying, like, absolutely. Like, he's a guy that you should extend. He's a guy the Eagles should think to extend. If the Eagles fall short of their goals, and the goal should be Super Bowl. I'm not going to hold you to the standard of saying you have to win it, but the yeah, Eagles, there. Yeah, with what there. we've seen this season, they should be in that game. Yeah, yeah. I agree. They've already I agree. beaten the second-best team in the NFC badly. Yeah. They should be in that game. If they struggle in the playoffs, if Jalen Hurts is more part of the problem than the solution with that passionate fan base... I'm just saying, that could be dicey well, look, times in Philadelphia. I'm going to say it right now. What, what's today's date? What's it, 18th? Yes, November 18th. November 18th. Friday, November 18th at, at 208. Yep, Listen, different. I'm saying it right now. We go to the Super Bowl, and if we don't, I'm going to pay each of y'all a thousand bucks. A thousand bucks. We go to that day. We go to that day. No, no, no. I don't, what? No. I'm not betting on that. Because you're rocking with us. Yeah. No, okay. no, he, he didn't. He didn't ask for he money. Didn't I mean, say, no, 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 no. We had to pay. This is not. It's a mess. It's, it's the confidence. See, no, I, I got. No, I'm not. Yeah. I got no, nothing, I on, nothing on the table for me. No, Jordan. All this. Hey, hey, hey. All this. Let me get her thousand. If they play this team, if they play Tom Brady, let me get her thousand. I don't want Shady pulling up the table and changing the rules. Like, no, no. I meant you got to give me a thousand. In Philadelphia, we don't play that is game. That's some Dallas stuff. If that plays, if he plays, listen, listen, brother, listen. We going to the championship. If we play Tom Brady, yep. if we play who else? Ooh. Tino Smith. That's a lot of pressure. Who else is it? Dak Prescott. Yep. That's a lot of pressure. If we play them boys, we're beating Heineke? them boys. What about Taylor Heineken? Whatever it is. Okay. But I think Shady embodies the, the, the problem with this question. Like, the confidence that true Eagles fans have. I have to release right. my Eagles fandom for the sake of the greater good of the show. But the, <laughs> the confidence that true Eagles fans have is that. Right. We've talked early in the week. I do not believe that the Eagles are clearly better than everybody in the NFC, but the majority of this table does. I have to relinquish to the majority of this table. If the majority of the world believes that the Eagles are clearly better than other teams in the NFC, right. then y'all clearly better get to the NFC Championship game Listen. and clearly better get to I the Super Bowl. My flight. Where's that? It's in Arizona? Arizona. Call my assistant after this. Book my flight. Hotel. We going. I got work there anyway, right? <laughs> but we still going. You know what we going. Oh, man. I, but... <laughs> I want I, I'm not trying so to bad. build in excuses here. Uh-oh. I'm really not. I'm just trying to look at it for what it is. Like, Jalen Hurts has played in one playoff game. Mm-hmm. And lost it badly. Right. So, I mean, I should, should, it, should, is it? And look, I love Jalen Hurts. I think the Eagles are going to be in the Super Bowl. I think they're clearly the best team in the NFC, and I don't think anybody's close, including the Vikings. But he's played in one playoff game. I don't. The problem is, though, Joy, I don't think you can have it, not you, the literal you, I don't think the figurative you can have it both ways, meaning if the Eagles are clearly better than everybody else in the NFC, and to me that word clearly means a lot, and if the Eagles' talent is substantially better than most teams in the NFC, I would argue everybody except the San Francisco 49ers. And if Jalen Hurts, though he's only played in one playoff game, I believe that's still one more than Geno. I believe that's only two less than Kirk. He ain't, he he's he third year in the league. Who will we be holding to the standard is all I'm asking. I would honestly say 
everybody in the sense of, like, we've seen young quarterbacks go crazy from Joe Burrow to Patrick Mahomes to Lamar Jackson. Yeah, but you're telling me that Howie doesn't even know if this is the future, that nobody's even sure if Jalen's a franchise guy yet. And that he's not until Jalen goes and proves it in this playoffs. But I think yeah. the new standard of quarterback is, A, when you are young, it's time to go do yeah. it. I mean, like, we Jared, even little Jared Goff. Yeah. Jared Goff, who we think so terribly of now, I believe it was his third year. I mean, that, that usually is Bowl. when you step up. So, and it's right, and, and you want to have them get there before no you doubt have to about pay it. Them. Let's go, let's go all the way oh, back. Third, third, yeah. big, big Ben, his third year, if I'm not mistaken. Aaron Rodgers, third year as a starter. Eli Manning, if I'm not mistaken, it was his third year. Like, go, you can go back through history, you can go to present. It, it, By it, that it, third year, it's time. Even as a player, I'm gonna stick back to when I was playing, my friend, my rookie year was like, it was hard. Like, yep. Everything was hard. I, I didn't care what I was doing. Like, coach, this, I don't want to mess up. The second year, you get better. You get more confidence. You get, you, you get used to everything. Small things you don't even think about. Like, my first time playing in Dallas was like, oh, my God, I'm in Dallas. My second year, oh, I know what to expect. Yeah, they're going to have this over there. going to have this over there. The cheerleaders. Like, small things. When I come in the locker room, I know where I'm sitting at. Question. Question. Of all the things you mentioned of, like, what to expect, you, <laughs> lift, you mentioned the cheerleaders. Second? Like, you didn't talk about jerseys, well, you didn't talk about what? cleats. I was getting You didn't yeah. talk about coaches. <laughs> I was getting <laughs> about press box. So, look, you said, I, know I all mean, the Dallas Cowboys shoes are iconic. They are iconic. They have, they they have, have the their own iconic reality show. I don't really forgot, them. but they have a whole, like, parade just, type thing. They I'm, get crazy I, over there. There's a lot that goes on. You just... Uh, okay, and then my third year, like, I, I, I know what they expect. And I, I can't wait to get on the field because I knew who would be there, how, how it would go. Small things you don't even think about. So, your third year, you're ready to go. And my third year... I was an all-pro. You pro. led the league in yeah. rushing touchdowns your third year with 17 of That's them. That's right. 21 to be exact. Total. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> but your third, you, you're ready to go, so. No, no, I hear you. It's and I, time. I, I have these expectations. I'm just playing devil's advocate. I don't like to advocate for the devil, but I'm just saying he's played in one playoff game. And now we're saying you must go to the Super Bowl. But see, this, and we can tie this back into earlier shows this week. This is why you could argue it's a good thing the Eagles lost that game, because the more of these w wins you stack in a row, the greater my expectations. Like, if you're capable of an eight-game win streak in the NFL, mm -hmm. if you're capable of finishing 15-2, yeah. and two, my expectation is that you're good enough to win two more playoff games and get to a Super That's Bowl. That's a good point. Like, for the Eagles to get to the Super Bowl, it only takes two wins. Right. And it would be both if, games. So you're hoping. saying if we have... If the they get seed. there. Okay, yeah, if they seed. get the one Like, seed. Yeah. you got two wins, yeah. and you got the first... You got a bye, and you're hosting both games. And this is not a murderer's row. of N This is the worst the NFC has been since 2016. Yeah. This is how I'll go to break. 2016, who was in the playoffs in the NFC? The Detroit Lions were the sixth seed. Falcons went to Super Bowl that year. The Dallas Cowboys with rookie Dak Prescott were the one seed. The Russell Wilson-led Seahawks on the back end of the Legion of Boom were the three seed. The Atlanta Falcons, the Atlanta Falcons who we haven't seen since, were the two seed. The Green Bay Packers who started the season four and six we're the five seed. This is as bad as the NFC has been. Howie Roseman knows that. Jalen Hurts knows that. With the Giants that that year were the five, did they know that? Eagles. <laughs> <laughs> no, they got no choice. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.